guys, in this lesson I want to talk about our rib cage and exercises for our upper part. So, let's start first with the stretches. Okay, nice and easy. Grab your hands in the lock and pull it away and push your back all the way back as much as possible. Get that nice stretch and come back one more time. Stretch all the way back. Push your hands and chest away from each other. Very nice. One more time. And when you will do this one, now make one side stretch or the other. One and then the other. Right and left. Right and left. Okay, very nice. That's nice, good stretch. Now what we'll do, we'll do stretch but opposite direction. Lock behind your back. And now push your chest and hands again in different direction and open your chest as much as possible stretch collect your shoulder blades and push them forward through your chest open your shoulders as much as possible stretch it push it and relax one more time open stretch stretch try to do stretches Side to side in this position. Very good. And relax. Okay, so next one we'll do stretches, but using our shoulder blades as much as possible, not just the shoulder, but including shoulder blades. What I want you to do, just roll your shoulders back one at a time and turn them back. So I'm turning my body 90 degree, but it's not just rotation, it's actually my shoulder blades. If I'm doing it from the back, I hope you can see it, I'm moving my shoulder blades all the way up and down, all the way up and down. When I'm going down, I'm squeezing it down to my hips, to my pelvis. So get a very nice big roll in your shoulders. and include your shoulder blades into that work again it's not the shoulders it's more shoulder blades so make sure that while you're doing it your core still stays strong one more time from the back the body position that stays the same core and hips engaged and rolling your shoulder blades from side to side very good. Next one. Same idea, we're working on your uh, posture, holding your core, engaging your hips, so hips still staying straight, pressure to the ground. And now what we'll do, we'll open our hands to the side and go one and the other side, left and right. Make sure that your core is still engaged. You see my hips? They're staying in place. This all happens in your back muscles side to side as much as possible you can set slowly stretch 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 try to keep your arms parallel to the ground very good and now go faster with a smaller amplitude one two one two one two one two keep your legs very strong engage your muscles in the thighs to hold this balance your core still engaged and your rib cage moving from left to right. Very good, very good. Relax, shake it off. I hope you feel your back muscles engaging. And now, what we'll do next, we will create a rotation. So, uh, let's go back to previous exercise what we did earlier. So bend your knees, soft, uh, keep it, your core engaged. Hips straight, put your hands on your sternum and your elbows straight forward and up. That's your position. Back absolutely straight. We're not shaping anywhere right now. What we will do, we will create rotation in our back. So again, feel that you're engaging your shoulder blades more to create that rotation. Shoulder blades helping you to turn your body. Shoulder blades turning 
your ribcage not that much in your hips more in your back Try to bring your elbow forward in front of yourself without bringing your shoulder. Very common mistake is this, that your shoulder goes before your body and then you can see this curve in my back. We want to keep it flat. So engage your shoulder blades again, keep them almost together. Not completely, because then my elbows will be behind, but very close to be together. And while I'm turning, my shoulder blades still staying in the same connection. So my chest widely open, my shoulders, my collarbone open. And while I'm turning, it stays in the same. But my shoulder blades are working a lot. Very good. And now, let's relax. Shake it off. All that rotation we will use while we will dance. And next part, what we will do, we will stretch up and to the side. So for this one, what we will do, we will open our arms to the side and stretch right side, come back to neutral, stretch left side, come back to neutral. Actually, let's do first in this position. Again, your hands on your sternum, elbows up, and now while we're stretching, body goes diagonally to the side and up other side and my head facing that direction but you need to feel that stretch happens here but opposite side still strong and does not go down so we don't want this position my right side right now I'm trying to keep it parallel with the ground even though my left side goes up, so it stretches again in my back, in my lats to create this look I will stay back to you, you can see that stretch happens in my back I am again engaging my shoulder blades, opposite shoulder blade to create this line now my left shoulder blade goes down and right side is stretching to create this line And while I'm changing, I'm gradually going from one squeezed side to neutral and then I'm squeezing opposite side. So if I'm stretching my right side, my left shoulder blade goes down. If I'm stretching my left side, my right shoulder blade goes down. And one, and two, and three, and four. Very nice. Relax. And now same thing with open arms. So we'll open our arms and while our body stretches my hand will point diagonally up to the ceiling. Neutral and stretch diagonally up to the ceiling. Neutral. In order to achieve this look I do use my knees. As you can see I'm sitting now pretty low bending my legs and when I'm going to one side I'm rising going back to neutral other side rising go back to neutral so that rise helps me with my stretch back to neutral rise back to neutral what is difficult about this exercise while you're stretching one side I still have to hold the other one you see it can go down I don't want to see this one I want you to stretch one and keep other side parallel to the floor. Neutral, stretch, neutral. And one more thing, it's not just the arm, we using our body to bring arm to this level. So my arm stays in the same line with my body. It's my back creating this line. My back, my shoulder blades engaged and helping me to achieve this look. Here we go. Good job, guys. That was great. So please practice all of those exercises at least a couple of minutes for each. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.